Hey, when you think of October, your mind may jump to Halloween, maybe costumes, candy, decorations. But at the people at the Niles Scream Park this time of year, it has them thinking about scaring and finding new ways to scare us. And they're good at it. I'm just going <laughs> to say that. Willie Lumla joins us now live from the Scream Park this morning. Willie, when I say they're good at it, I mean they are good at it. So good luck today. Well, I appreciate some of that luck, and uh, as you can see, we're outside one of the haunted houses now, so stay tuned. We're probably going to be getting into it. But before that, I'm going to be joined with Ross Ratliff. He's actually one of the actors and managers here at the Nile Screen Park. So, Ross, can you talk to me a little bit about what the people can expect to, for this upcoming season? Sure. So this is our 50th year of fear. Um, we've been a staple of the community for 50 seasons now, but we've rolled out all the stops this year to make sure it's the most frightening yet. And then uh, the fun thing about Nile Screen Park is you guys switch up the attractions every single year. Can you give us a little bit of a sneak peek or tell us what people can see for the attractions this year? We have six different attractions this year. Right behind us is the Nile Haunted House, the iconic attraction that's been here since we started. Uh, we've got Ghostly Hollow, Blackbeard's Revenge. We have our Field of Screams, our Dark Territory Haunted Hayride, and then we have our Hooded Attraction. And then how long does it take to kind of set these things up? It must, must be a while because you guys are planning out everything for the whole months to come. So we start basically the week after the season ends. Um, so we started planning last year around October. Um, worked all through the spring, summer, even the winter time to get everything ready uh, just in time for haunt season. And then you, like you just mentioned, it's about to be haunting season. So when are you guys open and when can the people come and check out? We start Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays this week. Fridays and Saturdays, we're open 8 to 11. Uh, Sundays, we're open at, uh, or I'm sorry, 7 to 11. 7 to 10 on Sundays, and we're open until uh, Saturday, November 4th. There you go. All right, so got a little bit of time to still check out some of the cool attractions here, some of the scary attractions as well. So it should be a pretty, pretty scary time, guys. But for now, I'm going to have to send it back to you guys in the studio. Uh -huh. I will say, you heard him say, right a week after they close, they're back to work. It's a little hard to appreciate the decor as you're walking through Try Not to Cry, but I will say, like, the <laughs> walls and everything they put in, I appreciate that so much. It really is cool, the amount of work they do. Right. I like. I was admiring it too as I was peeking my eyes through. <laughs> yeah. Like you said, yeah. I'm getting a little scared out here too. <laughs> I can't wait. All right. Do you know which one you're going in first? Not sure yet. Probably that. What do you recommend we go in first for the haunted house? What would be the scariest one? We're going to go to Blackbeard's Revenge. There you go. Blackbeard's Revenge. Going so right for it. Next stay level. Stay tuned. At wow. least they didn't put you through the hooded one. Yeah. I can't do that yeah. one at all. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Willie. Thank you, Willie. You actually like wear.